Hello, can everybody hear me okay? I'm sorry about the delay. I'm finally on my new computer. It actually, like, works and stuff. Kind of, maybe. It'll work if you guys can hear me. That will be the last step. The last step of all of this. Ah. Oh my gosh, I do not know how to use Windows 8. I don't know anything about Windows 8. Can you hear me okay? Anyone? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you can hear me, Luca. That's what's important. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I only have the chat open. I just would really like a new window and it won't give me one. Oh well. Okay. Uh, hi everyone. I'm Kelsey. I am writer and one of the game designers for Wild Season. And welcome to podcast number 14. Woo! Okay. I have a new computer, so things should go well, like really well. And if they don't, then I'm sorry, I'm a loser, but I think they're going to go okay. So, um, I am by myself this week. Uh, as you know, Sharon is actually at Tokyo Game Show right now, which is awesome. So... We're not going to have quite as exciting of a time. We're not going to hear Sharon sing or anything like that. But uh, we will hear other things. And your cat demands attention. My cat always demands attention. My cat is actually right next to me demanding attention right now. But I am ignoring her because she does not deserve it while I am doing human things like podcasting. Anyway... Um, kind of what I'm going to do today is kind of what I've always done. Um, I'm going to introduce some characters. Um, and then if there's enough people here and you guys want to, I have questions prepared. I'm not going to lie, they're not very good. Um, I actually didn't get this computer working until about, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. So I didn't really have much time to prepare said questions. It's about farm animals, though. Farm animals are pretty cool, right? Yeah, I like farm animals. But, um, oh, okay, quick announcement before I start the characters. I have finally, slowly but surely, started to um, update our Wikia. Um, if you just Google um, Wild Season Wikia, you can go there, and there's a ton of characters updated. And I'm still going through it. I'm doing about two characters a day. But... We're finally going to have an updated Wikia, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the time. Though I did it today because I was working with this dang computer. But tomorrow, it's going to be even more updated. And it's going to be great. So anyway, if you've missed any of the podcasts, um, some of the podcasts have unfortunately died in a fire. And by in a fire, I mean on my terrible, terrible laptop that would say it recorded them and then it, it didn't. Um, so in that case, you can just head over to the Wikia and see all the stuff that's happened and be like, woo! Anyway, all right, I'm gonna stop everything I'm doing and go to Steph Steven. I always wanna say Stefan for some reason. His name's spelled S-T-E-F-A-N. That's not Stefan, that's Steven, right? I'm not crazy. I don't know why. Oh, thank you, Rojo. Yeah, it's honestly something I um, should have been doing since we started the podcast. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that? Why would I think make things easier for myself, guys? I, I, the answer is I, I, just, I just wouldn't. Anyway, you're all about to tell me that I don't know how to pronounce my own character's name, and that's really stupid, which it is. But anyway, <laughs> I call him Steven. Uh, Steven Giles is, um, he's 26, which 
His final art makes him look a little bit younger. We're actually working on the, that right now. So this isn't final, final art. This is pre-final art. But you guys can tell me what you think. If you think he doesn't look too young or he does look too young, whatever. Anyway, um, he is the co-owner of Giles Ranch, and he actually manages the animal store in town. So this is the guy you're going to be buying all your cows, your sheep, your chickens, all of your animals from. Um, he is the second oldest of the uh, Giles children. Um, Edward, who I introduced last week, who's another bachelor, is the oldest. And then uh, both of them actually take care of their much younger twins, um, Panka and Ponko. I introduced Panka last week. I'm going to introduce Ponko this week. We're doing all of them, guys. All of them. Anyway, um, Steven's into very um, geeky stuff. He's into, like, you know, the internet, MMOs, all of that. Um, though the connection in town on the internet is not that great, and it's a constant source of anger for him. Um, he's very polite, but it can come off as a little artificial. Um, and he seems to really like going into imaginary worlds and sometimes writing other people in them. But that's pretty much him. And I think his chibi, if some randoms here, he can tell me if his chibi is wrong, but I think his chibi looks fairly like his avatar. To be honest, I usually have notes, so I don't sound like such an idiot when I'm talking. But I didn't have time to prepare those, because why would my computer work? <laughs> I'm so excited though, guys. My computer looks wonderful. Anyway, um, let me edit this. Ah. See if I can move him up. Hi, Marina. Guys with power, huh? Well, the mayor has a daughter, so it might be it might be girls with power here. But uh, yes, yeah, Stephen, I I don't know about taking on the town with confidence, but he's he's confident in himself. Whether that um actually translates to confidence anywhere else, I I don't know. Um, but. I've never been into that type. That's interesting to hear somebody say that. I, I know there's a lot of people like on Tumblr and stuff and I go down the Harvest Moon Rune Factory little page because, you know, I'm an idiot. Um, a lot of people seem to like those sort of characters. But yeah, fortunately, it's Mayor's daughter. But, um, and then that's his little sprite, which I think looks like him a lot. We have a problem with them not looking like them sometimes, which is one of the many reasons why we do this podcast, because we don't notice it. <laughs> we look at this stuff all day, and we're like, oh, it looks great, and then it's like, the moment fresh eyes hit it, they're sometimes like, no, his bow tie is not the right color, all that. So anyway, that's him. That is, I think that is the last, no, no, this is the second to last Bachelor that I'm going to introduce. It all ends next week when I introduce Lucas. And then I I actually don't know if I've done all the bachelor lights. I gotta go through my notes. Anyway. So say goodbye to him. I'm gonna meet his little brother now. Wah, wah. This is Ponko. Um Ponko is ten years old. Um he is a grade school student and works at his family's ranch. He is very boisterous um, and often finds himself sticking his foot in his mouth because he'll get these bright ideas that are, well, not actually all that bright. Um, and he'll often get caught in them, unlike his sister who's just honestly way smarter than him. Um, Ponko can um, most often be seen running around with Don, who is Denise's younger brother. I introduced him, I believe, two months ago? I don't know. Um, not two months ago, two podcasts ago. See, 
I don't even know what I'm talking about because I've spent all day on this dang computer. Anyway, um, and so Ponko pretty much is kind of like your troublemaker and is unfortunately not very good at being a troublemaker. So that's Ponko. Let's see. I wish I had notes so I didn't sound like I'm lambling, but here we are. Those are some shoes. I have not noticed his shoes. Those those are shoes. Ponko. Some random. Yeah, I know. It's, it kind of goes into Pongo. I can't pronounce things. Ponko. Yeah, like with a C. I should really do like these backgrounds with their names on them. I'm going to start doing that. Once I get this all set up and my computer actually wants to work and everything, I'm going to make it even more pretty. And by more pretty, I mean I'm going to make the... Ah! Don't do that, phone. Stop doing that. Um, I'm going to make the podcast even more pretty somehow. I don't really know how yet, but I'm going to make it happen. It's going to be great. This computer's going to be able to do so many things. And then, some random, does, does this chibi look like the final art? Does the sprite look like it? I think it does. He's got some... Oh, though. No. He does have this jacket thing down here that he doesn't have on his art. Dang it! I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's okay? I'll move this up a little bit if I can figure out how to do it. Second hair spike. Oh! I didn't notice that, guys. Here, I am going to take my handy bandy notebook. Put a little bit more definition on his eyebrows. Okay. Uh, definition on eyebrows. Um, we said that his, his hair doesn't have a second spike. Hair. Second spike. Ah. And um, shoe color. You know, I think the shoe color is actually the same. I just think it's hard to see with the jewelry. Let's go down. See how you can only see like the little part of it? It's kind of the same color. Am I crazy? I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's it should be more of like the base color? Or do you think the tip is okay? I don't know. And then, of course, there's the the overall thing. Okay, Marina says it's close enough. I like it. It looks like the sh shoe color that's shadowed. Yeah, yeah, that that's what I was saying. Uh, Buckaroo. Yeah, there we go. I can pronounce things. I'm I'm smart. Um, yeah. It does look like the shadow. Yeah, jacket at the waist. Yeah, I mentioned that when we first got it. Uh, bandana does... <laughs> oh, man, we're really getting into it now. Okay, let's do this. Okay, jacket at waist. Yeah, yeah, jacket at waist. And then um, bandana. Um, I don't really know how much we can do about the bandana. Kind of looks like... I know it kind of looks like it's going up to his chin, but the sprites you kind of see from above, so it might be okay, but I'll definitely mention it to the artists. Bandana looks kind of strange. Bandana. Alright. Alright. I got the bandana, I got the jacket at the waist, I got some definition on the eyebrows, and I got, um second hair spike. I think that's it. Oh, and shoe color. We'll go ahead and put shoe color down. Why not? Color. I think some people thought it was fine. Oh, add some creases to the bandana in the, uh, in the sprite art. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bandana creases. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Do we want to go back? I'm going to go back to stuff. Stevens. I don't know why I always want to say Stefan. I'm just, that's, I don't think that's how it goes. 
I've always called him Steven, and if somebody tells me that his name is Stefan, then I'm just going to change the spelling of his name, because <laughs> I call him Steven all the time. <laughs> anyway, um, I think his mostly looks okay. Nobody really said anything, but I don't know how much I really asked. Uh, the mouth bandana? The sideburns. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, the sideburns are a little... I know, I'm just making your night some random. <laughs> You're welcome. You're gonna criticize everything. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> okay. Ye uh, I guess I see that. Wow. See, I'm not a very visual person. I think I've said this before, but... That's one of the many reasons why I'm not an artist. <laughs> and we can't really do much about the pants being much bigger, I don't think. Because they're all on a template. It's part of your day job. Criticism. Oh, well, good. <laughs> You're very good at it. But you point out very, very detailed things. So, it's all good. Don't worry. But, alright. So, sideburns. That's pretty much it. He's got the little hair thing. But his hair looks... It's sweeping. It's sweeping. It's doing all the stuff. Yeah. He's got the glasses. His eyebrows look good. Rena, I like his Elvis hair too. I'm I'm really into people's hairstyles. Um oh, I just hit my microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um I don't know if I've I don't think I've introduced her yet, but Jane, um the one of the owners of the general store, her hair is fabulous. Like the artists have done some fabulous hair in this game and I'm like <laughs> I wish I had hair that could be fabulous and I'm it's not gonna happen not like these people so um wild season's actually all about fabulous hair guys you don't know it yet but you'll see it's just people with fabulous hair and then you as the player you don't have nearly as fabulous of hair so that's why you're farming I'm kidding that's not what it's about at all I wish that was what it's about I'm gonna change everything now all right so those are our characters. Um, let me go back to this. All right. So I don't know how many people are here. I see four people have been chatting, but I have. Um, I have. I do like a questions thing every week when Sharon's not here, cause Sharon, Sharon, my, who is our CEO, COO, game designer, all of those wonderful, wonderful things. Um, he is the one that knows all the technical stuff, so usually when he's here, we have a segment where we go into, like, a major aspect of the game, and he can actually answer all the questions about that after he explains it. I, on the other hand, um, don't know anything, and, oh, I forgot to send Luca the, the answers to these questions. Oh. Just a second, guys. I'm going to find these while I continue talking. Whoa! I did something really weird. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, did you guys ever switch from Windows 7 to Windows 8? Because it's kind of blowing my mind. I don't understand it. <laughs> I was just trying to pull out a notepad document, and it turned into a big thing. It turned into a very big thing, and I don't know why. <sighs> anyway, so I usually do these questions about real life farming that people can answer, and we have a game, and whoever wins, I sing them a song in their honor. And I only have five questions today because, well, my computer, but I think it's going to be great. But I had to help your mom with Windows 8, and it's kind of awful to work with. You know, I think I'm going to be fine, Buckaroo. It's just, like, 
doing something that's I guess this intensive like on a system that you've only used like an operating system you've only used for the total of now um, a little over an hour is uh, kind of daunting because it is I was on Windows 7 before and this is like this is different I don't know if I if, if I like it <laughs> I kind of want to put Windows 7 on here now which is hysterical because part of the big big problem I've had with this computer is that Windows wouldn't install and it ended up it was because of my hard drive and then the internet wouldn't work for a while and then just all sorts of wonderful 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 things Chaos, I would say stick with Windows 7, at least from, from what I've done. The, the, I accidentally moved my cursor over to the side, and there's like this big thing that comes out, and it scares me. I don't know. Anyway, do you guys want to do the questions thing? And you guys can all answer them? Because I honestly, uh, other than some general questions, don't really have anything else on my end. Um, usually how the questions thing works is that whoever answers first correctly gets the point. So, one second, y'all. I don't want you to hear. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, Windows 8 definitely seems like it's for touchscreen. Buckaroo, you're right. I don't know if I'm supposed to extend your oh, like buckaroo. I'm gonna start doing that from now on. You better like it. Anyway. Oh, hi Osmos. You you miss character stuff. <laughs> I know. I keep pronouncing your name wrong, and I'm I'm just flowing with it. I don't really. I've just decided. You know what? I'm gonna be me. <laughs> and if I can't be me, then. Oh well. But yeah, it's Kelsey's Amazing Spectacular and Oh So Wonderful Quiz Time Show. <laughs> Chaos, don't worry. You will get all of them right. And Asmo, we will have. I am on my new computer. I am on my new computer. That's great, right? Right? And I can actually do things. So, that means that this is actually being recorded, and it will actually be put up on YouTube. I also have been working on the Wikia, so if you go to the Wild Season Wikia, you'll see all sorts of character stuff, because I finally have done it. I'm updating like two a day. It's going to be great, guys. Yeah. Anyway, I only have five questions today, because once again, computer. Oh, as a, yeah, I do. Um, I will actually log, I haven't even been able to log into Twitch. Like, that's how, like, little time I've actually been on this computer. Um, I meant to send it to you last time, and by last time I mean yesterday, but my computer blue screened about, oh, I don't know, 30 seconds after I stopped the stream, and then it never turned back on. S spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. Ugh. There. Was that fast enough, some random? I, I don't think I could do it any faster. I'd mess up and make a fool out of myself. Which, I mean, what's new? But, hey, guess what, guys? The game. It's about farm animals! That's not very centered. Oh, well. Yeah. So, there's going to be five questions. We're going to go through the first four. And then Luca, our wonderful, wonderful marking person, is once again going to decide how many points the last question is worth. Yeah. Did I? No! <laughs> Some random, I've been using this for like the past like... Like four times. See, this is what happens when you're not here. This is what happens. I, I just mess up. <laughs> Luca, you want the last point to be worth... <laughs> The last question to be worth 2,000 points? Okay, okay. First four questions are worth one point. The last question's worth 2,000 points. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the first question, guys. And, um, 
Asmo, I will um, also die a lot because I'm not very good at Civ Five. Though I have a lot of wonders in my t- my city right now, because I have a lot of per- per- production. It's pretty great. Anyway, <clears throat> question one: How many full time shepherds take care of a range band flock? Often one thousand to um, fifteen hundred yul. Oh my gosh, Eos. Uh, I can never pronounce things, guys. And there's supposed to be a question mark at the end. I know. Anybody who's here for the first time, like, I think Buckaroo might be here for the first time. Um, this is how incompetent I am. Hi, S- hi, Imperial. Um, you missed character stuff. But it is okay because I am updating the Wikia now. Wild Season Wikia. It's happening. It's happening. And Imperial, you're actually in time for this. So that's what really matters, right? Oh no, who's gonna win? Oh, hi Sky. Welcome to the world and everyone. All right, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win the question game? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know who's gonna win, win, win. I don't know if everyone's answered. It's okay. <laughs> Luca, don't show preference. No preference. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Buckaroo. I'm glad you're here now. We're we're a pretty fun crew. We're all super, super nice. And we just do really stupid things like farm animal questions on Twitch. Because why not? I also sing a lot. And yeah, Sky got that, by the way. I was waiting for Luca because I wasn't sure. <laughs> Yeah. So Sky has one point. Good job, Sky. Off to a <laughs> Luca, you were so wrong. I thought you knew. <laughs> I thought you knew, Marina. I was like, don't show preference. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, question two, guys. Which country is the top producer of indigenous sheep meat? A, Turkey, B, Iceland, C, the United Kingdom, or D, the United States? Who produces the most meats? I don't know. You guys gotta guess. Actually, I do know. Since I made the questions, but I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say until it is the end of the question part. Oh, yeah. Hi, Rith! I hope you can hear better. We're on question two of the game. Rith! No, there is so much video. <laughs> there is so much video, Rith. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Rith, you're so late. You're so late. It is okay. <laughs> And Imperial, I like your V answer. V is actually the answer to all of these questions, guys. <laughs> just so you know. I'm just kidding. Somebody's got it. Who got who got it? But did do it was Marina. Marina, you have one point. Congratulations. Man, I got this nice little like post a note thing I'm writing stuff down on. I have some kind of silly questions about some farm animals. (laughs) You need to change your username, Marina. It has to be Californian at the end as well. All right. Rith, I am so sorry. And I'm also sorry to you, Imperial. It's okay, Rith. Don't worry. Hearts. Hearts everywhere. I don't know why. Um, I am on my new computer, though. I'm on my new computer. I I shouldn't be lagging so much. I'm sorry, Imperial. Try uh, try refreshing. I'll I'll wait for a second and talk about stupid stuff while we wait for question three. Uh, some AAG deep sea cable to the U.S. got damaged again. What? What? I don't even know what that is. You're like blowing my mind right now. See, 
everybody that's on Twitch knows more about computers and things that involve computers and video games and stuff than I do. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm not I'm not the most technical person, which I mean anybody who's been on this podcast before knows that. Yay! Anyway, I'm hoping Imperial's gotten time to refresh. I'm gonna go on to question three. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna move on to cows. What is the singular word? What is the singular for the word cattle? A. Ku. B. Cattel. C. Cattle. Or D. There is none. Buckaroo, I hope it's that. Oh, good, Imperial. I'm glad that you're back and it's much better now. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What is the answer? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, no, no. Actually, I do. I made this quiz. But you guys don't know the answer. So we gotta wait until it actually happens. Watch, Wild Seasons is going to become, like, really popular, right? And then people are going to come to the stream and just, like, expect such, like, deep stuff about the story and stuff. And I'm just going to be sitting here like, I actually know the answers. I actually know the answers. Also, Imperial, you got it. Yeah, so there is no agreed upon, um singular for the word cattle um some people use critter actually um which is interesting but marina actually cow comes from an entirely different word um so it's not the singular at all of cattle because that's why you can have cows but oh no rith goodbye goodbye um actually Ku is, um, the, I believe, Greek root of where cow comes from. And cattel, I think, is one of the, um, roots that, not roots, but one of the words that cattle came from. I'm sorry, Rith, goodbye. Do we need to have a memorial for Rith again? I did a memorial for Rith yesterday. But no, no, it'll be okay. We don't need it. We don't need a second memorial. Rith will be back. Rith is not dead. I'm in a much better mood today because my computer's actually working. So we won't talk about death the entire time like I did at the Let's Play yesterday. <laughs> we'll talk about happy things. Like, like the fact that there's no agreed upon singular word for uh, cattle. Yeah. I actually didn't know that either. I never really thought about it before. And then I was reading up on cows because... That's apparently part of my job. <laughs> yeah, cattle has no greed upon thing, but uh, critter. People use critter sometimes. That's all I know. Anyway, we're going to move on. I'm sorry we lost, lost Rith. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Hello. Where have you been? I thought you died. Like, actually... <laughs> Actually, I'm not kidding. I mentioned this to Sharon one week. I'm like, he he told me to have you help me with something. And I was like, Oro hasn't been around. And he's like, really? And I'm like, I think Oro might have died. <laughs> There's no other explanation when really th what the, the explanation would have been. You just stopped watching because I'm not very good at these things. But yeah, I, I actually did have a memorial moment for you. I was like, Oro, if you're gone. <laughs> But I'm happy or not. So everybody say hi to Oro. Though I think most of you actually, uh, who are here right now other than Buckaroo actually know Oro. So hi Oro. I'm sorry you've been working a lot. So have I. You missed the chronicles of my terrible laptop dying. And now my beautiful, beautiful pink rig that I built. I built it like... I actually got a screwdriver and put things inside of it. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> it didn't want to work because my hard drive ended up being bad. But I got an SSD and now it's working wonderfully. So I have to send my terabyte hard drive back and get a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> uh, bye, Sky. Sorry. 
Sorry, I'm like totally detracting from the fact that I should be doing questions. Oh well, I got really excited and I needed to explain my computer for like the 10,000th time because why would I not? Anyway, well, I think we can take off Sky's point. Sky, you didn't stay. I'm sorry. I had to take off your point. So, Marina and Imperial are tied. <clears throat> Question four. Where were the first cows thought to be domesticated? A. Southeast Asia. B. Africa. C. Middle East. Or D. Central Asia. What is the answer? I don't know. Oh no, Oro! Why? Oh, Oro, you're probably really confused about what we're even doing right now. I don't think you've ever been here for one of these. Sharon's been gone a lot lately, and I have to do this by myself. So while everybody's answering, um, I decided to do animal questions. And by animal questions, I mean real farming questions that we all answer and do all sorts of stuff with. Because I don't have anything to uh, do. But Oro, I'm sorry you can't join anymore if that's the case. And I hope everything goes well with your work and stuff. But I'm glad you're joining us now. And that's what's important. So, yay, Oro! Has everybody answered? Oro, okay, so how we play this, which you won't... You'll actually be able to catch up with the next question. Um, but whoever answers first, like, um, gets a point, but Luca determines what the last, po uh, last question is worth, which is 2,000 points. So you could win on the next question, Oro, but I'm glad you've been watching the backlog and I'm just going to say it. Hey guys, guess what? Who got a point? Kelsey got a point. None of you guys got it right. It's Africa, you guys. They think it's Africa. Kelsey gets a point. point. Kelsey gets a point. Yeah. So, um, if none of you guys get it right, I get a point. I'm not really sure what I win, but <laughs> I get a point because I fooled all of you. Because these are questions you guys should honestly know. Yeah. Tickle me peace. I already said no, but hi. I don't think I know you. That's a really, I really like that username. I wish I had picked that username. I'm now insanely jealous. <laughs> no, Luca, you're taking away my point. I want a point. I want a point. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <sighs> Welcome to the podcast, Tickle Me Peace, that took my username, and by my username, I mean something. <laughs> oh, bye, Oro! It was good seeing you! Oh, I get point twenty-five. Okay, okay, Luca, whatever, whatever, you know, all nice, do all this stuff put up together all these questions and you get to decide the points i guess i actually assigned that to you darn it i'm the one <laughs> but yes tickle me peace welcome all right question number five guys usually we do ten last week we also did five because sharon was actually here and i made sharon participate and it was hilarious um he won't probably do that again because <laughs> i don't think i could ever trick him into it again anyway um, last question, guys, is going to be worth 2,000 points. Thanks to Luca. You can all blame him. I put it out of my hands. All right. Question five, guys. When and where did using llamas as livestock guards first become popular? A, North America in the 1860s. B, South America in the 1300s. C, North America in the 1980s, or D, South America in the 1670s? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, who's going to win a thousand points? 
I don't know. Some random, this is the first time you've answered. <laughs> oh yeah, well, that's okay, because you're going to win 2,000 points. Actually, no, you're not. <laughs> everyone, 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 everyone. Oh my gosh. It's okay, buckaroo. It's okay. It's okay, buckaroo. Has everybody answered? Has everybody answered? Tickle me peace. What's your answer? Ah, uh, what is it? Livestock guard is like um an animal that guards livestock. So like llamas sit with sheep, and um <laughs> wolf llamas. No, no, like they they um they protect sheep. It's like a sheep dog. Well, sheepdogs herd sheep, but they also protect sheep. So it's it's pretty much what it sounds like. But hey, guess what, you guys? Um, it's actually C. This is very very recent. This is only like the past like thirty years that llamas have started to be used for this. I win two thousand points. I I win. <laughs> Did anybody answer C? I don't think so. I don't think anybody answered C. I can't believe I actually won, guys. I would have won anyway if this was worth one point. If Luca... <laughs> like, Luca! I win 2,000 points! I win 2,000 points. Don't change it on me. I win. Yeah, yeah, it was in North America in the 1980s. I was so surprised. That's why I put this one on. Well, I also wanted to trick you guys, but llamas do do come from um, South America. You're absolutely right. Um, but they've always been used as pack animals. And, um, you know... Apparently, we were like, why don't we have them beat up other animals instead? <laughs> North America! North America! <laughs> we're kind of crazy. And take over people's land. And fire missiles at them. And everything. <laughs> That's it. Everyone declare war on me? Well, Luca, no! I won! I won! I won! <laughs> I love how I'm the one, like, doing this, and I'm, like, so angry. It's okay. Sky's not even here. N and also, Imperial totally got one as well, Luca. And Tickle Me Peace got point seventy five. Yeah, Imperial got one. Fine. I will sing a song in honor of this chat. You all didn't know that. This was such a recent thing. But llamas are livestock guards in North America, 1980s. America, America, we are really weird. So I'm singing this song about this question for you guys in the chat. Okay, that was your guys' prize. I, I know it was really mediocre, <laughs> but you're welcome. I did it for all of you, okay? All. Share the podium. Aw, see, everybody's so nice here. There's not many of us, but I like that there's not many of us. Because it just, I know everybody. And when new people come on, everybody's so nice about it. And it's great. I've heard some bad things about Twitch sometimes. I don't really do much Twitch things at all but I do this and I do a let's play on Tuesdays yeah so anyway that was Kelsey's amazing spectacular and oh so wonderful quiz show time Woo! <laughs> the game should just have a jukebox build with my improvised songs um well, the last time Sharon was on the um, Let's Play, which was last week, um, everybody told him that they really wanted a DLC of me voice acting all the characters, and uh, he actually wants to do it, guys. 
<sighs> I don't know why. And also, everybody wants, if we have to do a Kickstarter for our next game, really wants there to be, like, a 2 or $3 thing where you get me yodeling as your ringtone. Because apparently, me yodeling is funny. I don't even know why I yodeled that first time, but apparently I did. And I don't know. Man, I don't know. I'd write some songs for a jukebox in the game. They would just be really random, like, this is a song in a jukebox in a game. I'm singing it because things do stuff. Oh my gosh, Sharon should voice all the guys. You know what? If I have to do this, Sharon should have to do it too. This is my declaration on this declaration. I don't know why I said declaration. See, I can't speak. I don't know how to speak. This is my declaration on this podcast. Sharon shall have to voice all the men. In wild season for this DLC. I'm gonna let you know we are not good. <laughs> I should have my own singer character. Man. Nah. You have to do the boss. You have your boss do girl voices. Kelsey on boy voices. Man, I don't know. I think I'm better at the girl voices. I'm like, hello everybody. How you doing? <laughs> well, Sharon could be like, I am doing well, thanks. Pathologic? It totally connects with Wild Season. It has houses, uh, money, <laughs> water, air. <laughs> Declaration. <laughs> yeah, I know. Reed, I, I'm, I'm such a, I'm such a failure. I know. Like every time I'm on here, I'm sure there's at least one person that's like, she's writing this game. This person, really. You're so much better on boy voices. Oh my goodness, I am a man. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> I don't have a deep enough voice to be such a man. A DLC bachelorette of you and a bachelor. <laughs> you know how, like, egotistic that would be? Like, oh my gosh, a DLC bachelorette of, of writer Kelsey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's not gonna be a DLC bachelorette of me. I'd be so embarrassed. But if there was, I'd be like, Hello, my name is Kelsey. I sing songs sometimes. Sing, 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 sing. <laughs> That, that would be it. A portrait of you that we can hang in our house. You know, I actually kind of want to do pictures in houses. I haven't really talked to anybody about it yet. And it might be too late. But I'm going to mention it. Because I kind of want, like, you to be able to buy pictures and put them in your house. I'm a really big fan of Animal Crossing. I, I, I play it a lot. It's pretty great. But... I like putting pictures up in my Animal Crossing house, and I want to be able to put pictures up in this house, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to be way too embarrassed to play this game. <laughs> I've done I've, I've done some builds, and I've just been like, oh my gosh, I want to just hide myself. Landscapes are great, Raina. I really like landscaped art, too, especially in photography. Like, that's my favorite, like, subject of photography. I really like portraits, too, but... Landscapes, man. You have a statue of yourself? What? I wish I had a statue of myself. My mayor's awesome. I'm making my town all pretty so I can have a dream address, and I'm, like, really excited about it. But, anyway. Um, does anybody have any questions? We could just talk until 10. Or do whatever. But that's, I mean, after the questions, that was pretty much it for me, if you notice from the fact that I've just been talking about Animal Crossing and hanging pictures and having me maybe be a bachelorette for some weird reason in DLC or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm great. <laughs> oh, yeah, Imperial, you totally can. Okay, uh, this is Steven. He is one of our bachelors. He works at the animal store. He's very geeky. 
I will have more information on the Wikia about all of these things. This is Ponko. This is his younger brother, man. He is a child. He's 10. And he's a troublemaker, but he's really, really bad at being a troublemaker. So, yeah. And we had all the time where, uh, you know, we talked about what was wrong with the sprite art compared to the final art. Oh, hi, NetSlave! Um, still sorry that you're a slave to the internet. Um, but welcome. We are actually almost done. I know it doesn't look like it since there's characters here, but I was just re-explaining them. This is Ponko. He's 10. He is... He is very cute, and he's a troublemaker, but he's not very good at being a troublemaker, so he just gets in trouble all the time and puts his foot in his mouth. And then this is Steven. He is also a character. And he is a bachelor, and he works at the animal store, and he's super geeky. And I will have more information on all of these people in the Wikia, where I will actually have my notes that I can sound so much more articulate than I ever do on this podcast. Yeah! Boo 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 boo! So, uh, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Chaos, why are you... Why are you doing that? Why are you sealing yourself in dirt? Please, please stop. I I don't want to be held responsible for this. I can't be. And Marina, no comment. Will you see his eyes or won't you see his eyes? You'll have to find out. Dun, dun, dun. Thanks, NetSlave. And actually, I really like like all of the Giles family. I wish I had pictures of Edward and pa- Panka to show you from last week but um I'm on a new computer so I don't have any I don't have any of like my music on here yet or any of my images on here yet I actually don't even have like my work stuff set up on here yet I have nothing set up on here but (laughs) buckaroo if he has eyes yeah Marina what happens if he doesn't have eyes what if he just takes them off and it's just like dun 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 they gave me glasses so you wouldn't notice that I don't have eyes. That's the major twist of the entire game, guys. Buckaroo figured it out. We might as well not release it now. <laughs> Maybe he really is Elvis and the glasses are into disguise. Why, why do you guys keep guessing the game? Stop. You guys are all right. This is exactly what the game is, guys. This is exactly what I planned. <sighs> Now I can't even write it. I might as well tell everybody that, um, I might as well pack up and go home. Sorry, guys. You just, you just ruined the game. <laughs> We're not releasing it anymore. <laughs> oh. They're just black holes. Yeah. It's just like gaze into the universe. And then you get sucked into them. And then everything gets sucked into them because it's a black hole. And then it kind of just, after a while, just kind of sits in its own space. That's the thing I don't get about black holes. Like, I took an astronomy class, and there's, like, there's an area of no return around there. And, like, that's where you get sucked in from. But if you're not in the area of no return, then you're not sucked in. And I don't... I don't get how, I mean, is it pressure? But can there be pressure in space? I should have asked my professor this back when I was in college. And then, but I was like in this super large lecture class and he never picked on me. He always picked the guys. Because girls, they never like science. Never like math. We're not good at anything. Ever. Obviously. Yeah, the Event Horizon. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, the Event Horizon. The glasses are the shield to his heart, and you have to take them off to seal his heart. Guys, stop. Stop guessing everything right. You guys are not making it any better. (laughs) It deals with gravity rather than pressure, since black holes are super dense. Oh, see, okay, it's been, like, since freshman year, so it's been, like, six years since I've been in this astronomy class, so I I don't remember much from it, to be honest. I just remember that, like, it constantly blew my mind. I really want to watch that Cosmos show. I, like, I watched, like, the first episode, and, like, 
kind of sort of the second episode and i was like what it was all like crazy and all that kind of stuff but yeah i don't know i'm really happy i was able to do this guys um computer problems suck don't don't have them and um if you're on windows 7 don't get windows 8 i don't like it oh no it's change how can we have change let's never have change no but anyway um so so his eyes cross transport you across space yes marina his, his eyes transport you across space that's the entire plot of the game you just you just broke it guys stop it imperial you know i'm sure i'll get used to it but like it's really weird doing something like this on a totally new operating system. Because I've now had it for an hour and 45 minutes. He is a Time Lord. This is actually a Doctor Who game. Isn't that what they, that guy's called? Isn't is it? And the Doctor, and there's like a Time Lord, Time Master, Master Time. I don't know anything about Doctor Who. I'm not really... Sci-fi, I have to have some things. Yeah, I know, he's called the Doctor, but, like, like, isn't there a Time Lord? Isn't he a Time Lord or something? I don't know. It takes a few weeks to get used to Windows 8. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just like when they change Facebook, which I don't really care about when they do that. I just get confused for, like, the first two minutes, and then I'm fine. Time Lord is a title. Oh, I thought that was, like, his race. <laughs> You are born a Time Lord. <laughs> well, I guess you could be born titles sometimes. I mean, I mean, people are born to be, like, are born princes, I guess, and princesses and stuff. Anyway, on that musing, I think, I think I'm going to go. Um, again, my, I, I write and I do, like, game designing stuff for Wild Season. Yeah. Um... I do this podcast <clears throat> usually with Sharon, though as of late, not so usually, at 9 p.m. Central, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Time in the States, and it's, I believe, 10 a.m. in the Philippines. Yes. And then I actually also do a um, Let's Play of Harvest Moon Friends of Muriel Town on Tuesdays at the same time. So you get to watch on Tuesday and you get to watch on Wednesday. Yeah, just for, for Tickle Me, Peace, and Marina and Buckaroo. I know a few of you said that you guys have kind of been lurking. Lurking, lurking, lurking. I thought his race too, but it was like Gallifrey? What? I, I don't know anything about Doctor Who. Anyway, um... Thank you guys for joining me. I'm glad that we no longer had to worry about a uh, blue screening PC. That was really nice. And um, I will see you all next week. Um, usually I go into the comments, but actually I don't have my password to my Twitch account because um, I use Dashline and I don't have Dashline actually installed on here yet and I can't figure it out without installing it on here. Yeah! So, um, have a good night, y'all. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye!